Hi Sagittarius, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your mid-month money and career tarot reading for the month of February 2022, so mid-February if you will. Thank you so much for joining me and I do want to remind you as always, uh, general reading, so just take what resonates and don't stress over what doesn't. And as well, I want to thank you in advance for your likes on this video, comments down below, whatever you feel like sharing, even if it's just emojis. And don't forget to subscribe to this lovely channel if you haven't done so already, all right? And don't forget that little notification bell. As well, to book a personal reading with myself when you decide you want to do so, the options are down below. Just reach out via email and I'll definitely get that started for you. Um, Spirit saying, always accurate. More importantly, the overall message I received for you, Sag, channeled from Spirit. Of course, in regards to your money career, one success after another, one success after another. All right, that's beautiful. Let's put this to the side and we're going to begin by pulling the first message, the focus, if you will, from the Soul's Journey deck. And then we'll further pull some tarot. Let's do some shuffling. They just said, wow, outgoing, wow, outgoing. There's something about your personality. It's allowing you to shine this uh, this month in general, but especially in the second half of February. For Sag. Ooh, I am not taking that, all right? I'm not picking it up. I feel like you're not going to um, be shy of disciplining oneself to accomplish what you need to, um, to get done what you need to. But I feel as if you, did I repeat myself? But I feel as if you're also going to have this sort of potentially a little bit of a hint of stubbornness where you're not going to go the extra mile to please people or you're not going to go the extra mile to accomplish something when you know you can do it in a more simplistic way good for you all right i don't feel like that's always the case you got three okay i feel the need to take all of which this uh, typically happens when i want one but they give me more we have self-esteem peace and success self-esteem self-esteem peace and success. There's a focus on even when you slip up on your words, don't say things perfectly, um, not sure what to say potentially, or just feel a little bit nervous. Keep it, um, keep it high in the self-esteem department. Keep that pride alive. Remember you're a fire sign all the meanwhile. It's okay to feel a little bit all over the place, but I feel as if you're doing a better job in the second half of the month to an extent of centering oneself, grounding oneself, um, again, not feeling as if you have to overdo it, but it feels like by accident or without meaning to, you do overdo it a little bit with exuding yourself, over exuding yourself, you know what I mean? Um, feeling like a storyteller or as if you're on stage to a certain extent, but for, there's something peaceful about your energy where you're pushed to prioritize your peace in more than one way. Do you feel peaceful when working? Do you feel peaceful within your home life, right? Um, it feels like you might be trying to calm somebody down as well at home or within the work environment or both. You are being reminded that there's a level of serenity and peace and contentment that lies ahead for you as you do finish up the month and succeed time and time again, one success after another. I mean, to get this card in a money and career read is beautiful. And I feel as if you're pushed to remember what makes you feel to, uh, feel loved, what makes you feel happy, content, colorful. Um, you're reminded that the success of the ones you love the most, that you hold near and dear to your heart, always comes up in your readings, also matters. It feels like more so or equal to your own individual success. I feel like you're one who's achieved a lot in their time, even if people don't want to view it that way. We're going to pull the main part of the reading from the um, Light Seedish deck. Bear with me. For my lovely Sages to continue this mid-month reading. Wow. There's a focus on what you're learning, what you're developing, what's incoming knowledge-wise. You're going to have an idea in the second half of the month that is just fascinating to somebody. Um, be careful who you share it with, though. I do think you have a good sense of who has your back at this point or who you can trust. But don't feel the need to share it with everybody right off the bat, okay? Figure out how you're going to implement that, where it's going to go, if you even want to utilize it. Um, there's something about the King of Wands here. Um, being pushed to, once again, be high in self-esteem, to be confident, to own one's accomplishments, successes that take place, um, 
time and time again throughout this month and more so the second half of the month. It's like all your hard work is paying off. People are impressed, but may not vocalize it. Don't uh, feel as if you need that vocalization or just people telling you that they are proud of you or see that you're succeeding for it to matter or mean something. The value in your successes needs to stem from oneself, all right? What you see is worth a lot is what they're saying. We also have the four of wands. You're going to feel very strong in the second half of the month, especially in moments that uh, make you feel this peace and serenity. With the four of wands, things are falling into place. You're finding a level of passion within your home life, at times almost too much. You know, if it's your family or just roommates or whatever the case may be, it may just be coming from you, but it just feels like there's a lot of feisty or passionate energy in the home life could even be within your work situation, but that feels more peaceful for whatever reason. You're pushed to dance, to listen to music, to uh, engulf oneself in uh, content that makes you feel alive, happy, colorful. What makes you chuckle? You deserve that, right? As they push me to say chuckle. What makes you laugh? You deserve the, um, the expression. You deserve the release, if you will. I feel like you've been accomplishing a lot. You've been helping a lot of people. You've been um, working diligently, even when it's not outside of your day-to-day -day job or your business or whatever the case may be. Um, Sagittarius deserves more credit. Your knowledge is most definitely key in the center of your reading, going back to the Page of Swords. But I mean, what else is new, right? A Sagittarius being wise, being knowledgeable. Um, it, nobody needs to discard that or shouldn't discard that due to you feeling a little bit scattered, whether it's mentally, emotionally, or just in the way you approach and accomplish stuff, okay? Um, and I feel like you may have to defend that to a certain extent, but it feels like you're proud of who you are, right? Even if at times it's not fully the way other people feel it should be, but it feels like you're very um, comfortable with expressing your opinion in the second half of the month as well. With the Four of Pentacles, definitely thinking about savings, money, encouraging people to be wise with their money, encouraging... Um, and helping when it comes to investments, uh, thinking about where you want to put your money moving forward, learning more about how your money is going to change in the near future. Okay, interesting. We we're talking about love with the six, the success card. Excuse me, as we do have the lovers card. It feels like you may be planning when it comes to um, wrapping yourself up with endeavors. Um, financial investments or a new work situation that will help you love what you do more so moving forward. Somebody loves you so dearly, if not multiple people, that they will help you relax in the midst of you stressing over money or just wanting things to work out perfectly, okay? There's going to be a few moments throughout the second half of the month where you do get a little bit overwhelmed, and I feel like the helping hands coming in, people who care about you the most to relax you, um, that was horrible wording allow for them to help you, okay? I feel like at times you don't want to accept the help. You may need to find yourself, um, you may need to allow yourself to just walk away from a heated situation or um, the stress just to allow yourself to feel better. For some of you, select like Sagittarius, it's about walking away from a job or a living situation that isn't healthy for you, okay? That's for a select few. You're reminded that you have the strength within to accomplish what you want to to go with the flow, okay, to put in the hard work, but in a healthy manner, right? Think about how realistic it is to overdo it um, and to manifest what you desire. Again, it's partially why you're succeeding left and right in the second half of the month and moving forward, because the possibilities are endless for you because you are manifesting what you desire. But keep in mind that even when you feel a bit pessimistic or negative or expect the worst, you will be manifesting that as well. It doesn't mean you're not going to succeed, you know, time and time again, one after another, but just don't cause yourself unnecessary anxiety or manifest the negative. It just feels like the wheel is turning for you as they're pushing me to pull the top of the deck. You're manifesting a new financial fresh start um, for yourself, okay? You're manifesting whether it's a new job that you want, a business becoming successful, or a new financial investment. You're manifesting a lot. Again, I feel the need to keep repeating that. Just trust in your knowledge, your wisdom you've gained over time, uh, your strong Sagittarius um, wisdom and your strong, strong Sagittarius mind. Wow. Be careful of the rants. 
even if you're feeling quite passionate and allow yourself to remember that you're about to give birth to something new. Um, there's something in your life that's being birthed in a beautiful way. It will cost money, but it feels like moving forward, you're reminded that you have the ability to succeed left and right. And people need to accept that because you're a Sagittarius. All right. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing rest of the month. Sending you so much love and light, and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye, Sag.